Welcome back to Online Darts. We're here at Champion of Champions Viva Blackpool. Martin Adams has regained his composure to come and speak to us. Martin, first of all, what a battle you've just had with Trina. Yeah, she's always a hard player to play. Very hard. She knows, she knows her own games when it comes to throwing her cards, you know. And I had a great start. Trina had a good middle, I didn't. And then, unfortunately, I managed to get it together at the end there. So, Trina's game just sailed off just that little bit. Which helped me get over the line. You've been fighting injury, you've had to change your stance and everything. Yeah. Again, for you, this is quite a battle, isn't it? Because someone that's had the same throw for all these years, this is quite a big change you've had to make. Well, it is a big change, yeah. Yeah, and I've had to work on it. It's taken several months to actually get it right and actually start hitting with some level of consistency. I mean, if you watched me the last time on the Super Series, I was rubbish. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of that was to do with the temperature. Uh, I mean, it, yeah. the writers did not like the temperature. No. Yeah, yeah. Shoulders were tightening up and stuff like that, but putting it to one side, you know, you know, it's taken a while to, to get it right. New tournament, new venue here at Viva Blackpool Champions Champions. It was a sellout here today. That was a good atmosphere out there, wasn't it? It was an excellent atmosphere, uh, and it's great to have lovely people watching the darts. You know, they're not just here for a party time; they're here to watch the darts, be involved with it all. It's absolutely fantastic. Was there a bit of pressure on your shoulders in that last game? Because we've seen the big boys fall, so to speak, the the reigning double world champion. Mr. Thornton went, then Mr. Taylor went. Was there a little bit of extra pressure on you in that game not to join them? Well, I don't think it was any extra pressure. I mean, at the end of the day, I've been uh, nervous about this game for the last three or four weeks because it's a play trainer. And I, I know how trainer can yeah. we, We've got a lot of history with, you know, the England captaincy and so forth. Yeah. So, you know, for me, it was, uh, you know, a bit of a nervy, nervy thing to have to play in, you know. And I've, 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 I mean, if you watch the, watch the stuff back coming at the start there, I'm, I'm like this. <laughs> Shaky Stevens, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end there, what a, what a fit in touch, and it, it brought you to see to see Trina reunited with that trophy. Yeah, it did. Yeah, such a great moment. Great moment for Trina and great moment for Lady Star. She's my view. Yeah. The fact that that moment can never be repeated, and you were sharing the stage with her—that's something for all the accolades you've won that you'll never forget. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. Uh, and, and the people that managed to get that get that trophy, um, I, I can't thank them enough, you know, for doing that. You know, and they thought it was the right thing to do, uh, and I totally agree with them. Totally agree with them. Absolutely brilliant that they managed to acquire it. Obviously, your name's on many of those BDO trophies, and did it sadden you to see the way it all happened? Just the trophies just put on an auction site and and being sold off years of, of darting history? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I had hopes, you know, when, when the BDO sort of, like, for the want of a term, failed, um, I was hoping that those trophies would be donated to a museum somewhere. Uh, you know, maybe the British Museum or the yeah. Victoria and Albert, something like that, you know, so, and start something there for, for darts, you know, maybe. But, yeah, obviously it wasn't the busy. Creditors want their uh, pound of flesh, don't they? And there's silver. Did you ever think about bidding on the men's one? No. Nah. I didn't see the point. I didn't see the point. My name's on that trophy, whatever, and I will always remember that. Yes, I had the. I won the trophy three times. I actually knocked the handle off once. <laughs> you know, so whoever's actually got the trophy, it was put back together by a lovely uh, silversmiths in Sheffield. That, that's that's nice to know. <laughs> Tomorrow it's going to be a big day for you. What would it mean if you could get your hands on one of these seniors majors at last? It'd be really good for me. Yeah, I'd be well happy, very happy. Yeah, I mean, you, you never. You never come to one of these thinking, you know, oh, I'm not going to win. You always come here with a desire to win it and be believe you're going to win it. If you don't believe you can win it, then you don't bother turning it up. Tough here, though. You've got the dance in America, Mr. Leonard Gates, to, to overcome. That's fine. Hopefully, he, he won't hit so many time plus finishes <laughs> this time around as uh, he did, uh, you know, back in February. But, you know, Leonard's Leonard. He, he's a great dart player. You know, you just got to play to your own strengths and not worry about his. Yeah. Are you enjoying this again? Because I remember there was a time where you were like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do again. But this seems to have given you a new lease of life, the Super Series and the seniors. Apart from the injury aside, you really seem to be enjoying it again. I am enjoying it, yeah. I'm enjoying playing in the seniors and I'm enjoying playing in the, uh, the Super Series. It's an immense thing, both, both things, you know, coupled together. It's absolutely fantastic. It's, it's fantastic for me as an, sort of, some people say elder statesman of the sport, you know. Okay, you know, but I love it and I enjoy playing. I still I just play in two local leagues now. Do a little bit of Super League. County, nah, I want to know no more. 
done that for years, done enough county. Just play a little bit of Super League when they're short and that's it. Apart from that, it's just local leagues and I love it. Last time I spoke to you about return, a possible return to Lakeside, you were like, I don't know, I don't know what the future's going to bring. Have you given up on that, that avenue now of, of ever returning to, to Lakeside and playing in the, the WDF Worlds? Yes, I definitely know, because, uh, you know, to, I don't see the value in me trying to travel Europe and so forth to, to gain points to two events in a year. You know, work it out at WDF, I've got four events here, yeah. plus the Super Series, you haven't got four events, you've only got two. Uh, yeah, that's it. And you know, historically, I, I mean, it's a bit of a bad thing to say, but the prize money's fallen. So, with the prize money falling, would you want to go and do all that circuit? No. No. I don't. I've done it for years, I'm done with it. Concentration now. World Seniors. Super serious. Happy days. Mr. Adams, what a way to leave it. Pleasure as always, Wolfie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.